you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Kayla and today I'm just going to be spring cleaning the kitchen and so I'm just giving it a nice deep thorough uh, like deep clean and I'm also going to be tackling a sink project today and hopefully by the end of this our kitchen is just like absolutely sparkling clean so just to kind of go back to spring cleaning part one which if you didn't get to check that out I'll definitely link it below um, but the coolers that you saw in the dining room were because we were supposed to be having our appliances delivered and they did not show up which was like this whole stressful thing that we had to go through but that's why the coolers were in the dining room and so I had taken everything out of the fridge to put in the cooler so that we'd be ready when they came um, and they didn't show up and so that just kind of put my whole schedule off for this week but I had to get everything back into the refrigerator and whatnot and hopefully they're going to be coming tomorrow so I'm not going to be like deep cleaning our appliances because we are getting rid of them and I'm not going to be pulling them out to clean behind them because I will do that when they pull them out to take them away tomorrow. decorating for spring soon so definitely make sure that if well if you're interested hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notifications so that you will get an alert because I am going to be decorating and posting a spring decorate with me very soon I'm kind of in the middle of how I'm releasing the spring cleaning like series that I'm doing right now so the next video will probably be the decorate with me and then I'll jump back into cleaning like the bedrooms and bathrooms. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, but definitely make sure to turn on your notifications so that you will get an alert when that comes out. because um, if you've seen my previous video where I did the house tour, I said that before we bought our condo, it was a rental. And so the sink is in pretty bad condition. Like it's got a bunch of stains and scratches and stuff like that. 
So I've been doing some research to see how I'm going to be able to get this thing clean. So yeah, look right there. Like it's pretty bad. Um, so I'm, I've done some research and things like that. So I'm going to see which of these um, different things is going to work. So it's going to be a few different experiments here just to kind of see like what's going to work to get these like black and stains and scratches out. But the part that's kind of confusing about it is most of the information I've gotten is about porcelain sinks. And I'm pretty sure this is not porcelain. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I don't think that it's porcelain. So I'm just not sure how this is going to work. But I'm just drying the sink out a little bit there because it said to do it with a, a, like a damp sink but not a wet sink. And so this is just experiment one. And for this one, I did baking soda and then some blue dome like dish detergent over top of that and then sprayed it with hydrogen peroxide and let it sit for 15 minutes. So I'm putting some major elbow grease into this like I'm really getting in there and like scrub scrub scrubbing on this so this is definitely a workout here but I'm just trying to get this sink as white as possible so this is just basically like turned into a paste as you go like with the sponge over it and so I'm just like scrubbing and the baking soda is kind of like a grit just like scrubbing in there like an exfoliant for a sink so Hopefully this works. So yeah, as I'm rinsing it off, I can still see some staining. I mean, I guess you could probably kind of see it like if you look real close there, there is still some staining. Like it's not perfectly white, especially on that middle piece between the sinks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try experiment number two. And so this time I'm just using Barkeeper's Friend. And the directions say to sprinkle it on there and then immediately wipe it off. Um, it says to have it all removed within two minutes or something, like super specific in the directions. So, normally I would think that it makes more sense to like leave something on there to sit before you scrub it off, but the directions said to go ahead and do it immediately, so that's what I did. And so, yeah, you'll see here in a minute how that turned out.
I just sprayed the sink with hydrogen peroxide and then sprinkled some baking soda over top of it. And I'm just going to let this set for like the entire time that I clean for like this whole half of the kitchen here. And so it probably ends up sitting there for like a good 45 minutes before I clean it off. Um, I just wasn't completely happy with the sink still after the barkeeper's friend. So I thought that I would give this a try. And so my daughter did go down for a nap right after I got the sink like set up. And so now I'm just going to clean the lower half um, and try to get that done really quickly while she's taking a nap. using just these individual baskets in our junk drawer because it's like super customizable to exactly what you need it to hold instead of just like one of those generic junk drawer like organizers that don't actually like fit the exact size of your sink um and so i really like doing it like these and these are just a bunch of different like bins i've gotten at dollar tree and so I've just got everything separated and just like organized in there and like turned the bins so that they kind of all fit together and they're not just like sliding around all in the drawer. And this really has worked for us and it keeps, you know, our junk drawer organized and as minimal as possible.
All right, so this is going to be the final reveal of the sink. So I'm just getting that last little mixture uh, that's now turned into like a paste. Um, I'm just getting it really scrubbed into the sink. One last stitch effort here to get this sink completely white. Um, so stick around so you can see how it looks after this final time. These sinks are absolutely scrubbed to death now. Um, so I just used some Dome dish soap again there at the end just to kind of clean up after doing all of these different type of pastes and things like that. Just to make sure I got all of that completely out of the sink and rinsed off. So now I'm just going to show you some shots. Like I'll give you a quick before shot um, of how the sink looked before I cleaned it and then an after shot so you can see. And so um, it definitely looks like a ton, a ton better. And like just looking at the sink, it just feels so much like cleaner and nicer now to me. Um, and you'll see that in just a second. But it still definitely has like a few scratches and stains. And like I wasn't able to get the part in the center like as cleaned up looking as I wanted to. But like look at the difference. Like so many stains gone. Um, and so I am probably going to try doing like the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide and letting that sit for like 15 minutes and then taking a lemon and squeezing like lemon juice and using the lemon to scrub the sink with i read that that can kind of really really get a sink clean too so i'm probably going to try that as well just to try to get the sink clean and i'm probably going to share that with you guys on um, instagram so if you're not following me over there and you want to see how the sink turns out after I scrub it like uh, with lemon um, definitely head on over to Instagram and follow me it's just at the Tadayuchi life
So if you're sitting on your couch just kind of debating whether you should get up and get started on your spring cleaning, go on ahead and get up and get started. Even if you just do like a couple tasks each day or if you're doing like me and just tackling like one room at a time, doing like some kind of zone cleaning, just whatever works for you. Just do a little bit every day because I tell y'all what, I've only gotten the dining room and living room spring clean so far, but just like the feeling and the vibe in those rooms, now that they've been like spring cleaned and just cleansed and cleaned completely out and everything is in its place, like the vibe just completely changed in those rooms and it feels so good like just to be in those spaces and so I'm so excited and so motivated now just to get the rest of my house done. So I promise you if you just get started and get that one little area done, like you're just going to get like that feeling and just really want to just tackle the rest of your to-do list. Like that is going to motivate you.
done in the kitchen is just to get the floors clean. And so we always get a lot of crumbs like around the baseboard of the cabinets and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just use the big boy vacuum real quick, kind of get what I can with it. And then I'm also gonna use my microfiber mop to try to get into some of those crevices and corners just to get a little bit more of the crumbs out into the open. And then finally, I'm gonna go back in with my handbag just to really make sure that I'm getting every single crumb out of every single corner of this kitchen floor. along as I deep cleaned and spring cleaned my kitchen um, so I hope that this gave you the motivation to get started on whatever you needed to do today or it was just you know your downtime to just relax and enjoy yourself for a little bit um, whatever it was I hope it brought you whatever you needed and I will see you guys back soon so again, please, it really helps me out if you just hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up letting me know that you liked this video. And I always love connecting with you guys down in the comments. So just enjoy the rest of this video and I will see y'all again next time with my spring decorate.